This is Jim Green and I'm going to deal with an OP2 situation uh, on a part that we've already done. Uh, now this is one way of doing it and that is to just redo the part orientation around the second side. So I would turn on face select like I did in OP1, pick a face that I want to be the top of the part and align that face to CS, shrink wrap it, and now ISO view it so you make sure you see what you want here. So now depending on if we do that, we've already trued up everything so it's a matter of the outside being true. The question is where to position this. If you know your outside is true, then we can just move our part origin like we did in OP1 and use the Alt key like we did in OP1 and put it Okay, so this is one way of doing it. Now everything's been cleared except the original stack is larger than this and we need to finish this down to the right size. So if we remembered our last stack, we could go over and bring those values in. And we had a plus 3 on the X. And the hundred thousandths. And I'm just looking at the values that we had over there. We kept our Y at 0 and our Y minus at minus 1.5. And we were originally uh, one and a half inches thick. Now we took out the one inch, so we're actually 0.5 above the value of the part. So the part's one inch thick, we're a half inch above, so now our stock realistically looks like it did. If I want to use the same tools that I used in OP1, I could go over to the OP1, highlight the tools I want, and go Control c or Edit, come over, you do have to open up the tool bar, click on it and go Control v and that puts them back in place. I can drag them to wherever I need them in the right tool positions. I think I had the half in tool pot two, nothing, uh, half inch spot drill in three, I skip four, and I skip six. So I had my tools like that. Again, Gibbs can be open multiple times. So this is one way of doing it, orienting the part, just knowing what you had on stock in the first one. And now I want to uh, do that stock mill, um, face mill, using tool number one. So again, I could go back over to uh, my first op and copy that line that we did and paste it into here. And use that same line, except this time, use that tool with a contour and I want to start at plus 0.5 and go to 0 and I just have to take the number of passes that I want. And if we want to leave 10,000 C stock for a finish pass, I'm going to start at 5, go to 0 and I'm going to, um, we could even ramp down. Pick the point, the direction, and say do it. So by ramping down, that should give us the type of toolpath I'm asking for. I'll do a cut part render. Slow it down a little bit. Rewind. Cat and back and forth, leaving ten thousandths. So once I've done that, I can bring another contour panel right down after this with the same tool and start at ten thousandths and go down to one leaving zero stock. And of course we don't need to ramp. And that would be a redo if I want both operations to be done at once and keep those two processes together. So now I have a finish pass if I do a redraw which is just one line across. If I open up my 